What is going on guys, Tiswafi here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually had the Flower Dance Festival, where we actually danced with Penny. I'm very curious to see. Oh yeah, Lena and Penny actually gained a heart whenever we did that. That's pretty interesting, because I think previously she was... I don't know, did she have a... I don't know, she might have actually had that heart beforehand. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we danced with Penny and, and kind of left Shane in the dust and a few of you guys were saying we should break up with Shane because of that because I don't know it Just just to focus on one person instead of memeing around dating literally everyone in the town and stuff like that I don't know. I'm like if I did want to date everyone in the town It'd, it'd be kind of hard, you know, bringing up Leah would be a little bit easier than and then Harvey and Abigail and stuff like that But then there's people at the very bottom down here like Elliot and then uh, Haley, of course, and Sam and Shabbat, Sebastian and all them, Alex. I don't know if I want to go through all that effort, but it would be a good excuse for me to, to you know, get better relationship points with them, right? Just so I can date them in, as well as everyone else in the town, right? But I don't know if I want to do that. I might actually think about, you know, buying that bouquet, like you guys said, and smelting it in the first and then giving it the chain or something, and then just focusing on Penny. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But also last episode, we got our very first void egg and started incubating it. And what I actually did before I started this episode is I actually took care of all the crops over here, which is pretty good, as well as the eggs. So now we actually have two duck eggs inside here, one gold star void, void egg and then one silver star void egg. I do need to make more uh, mayonnaise machines over here. Uh, what are they called? Mayonnaise makers? What? I don't know what it's actually called. <laughs> Oh, it is a mayonnaise machine. Okay. Well, yeah, we could definitely make another one of those things. It's relatively cheap, and we should have those resources in storage right now. So I guess we can get a couple more of those. And uh, I, I guess we could do the same thing with the duck eggs, right? Because we have a few of those just kind of left over. I'm hovering over it right now. It doesn't need to be uh, donated anymore to the community center. So I suppose we can make some mayonnaise out of it. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, hold on. If we pull up this and go to duck egg. Well, I guess I could have just hit F1 while hovering over it or whatever, but... Uh, cooking. Let's see what recipes we can make out of it. So, of course, yeah, duck mayonnaise. It's, it does say you can make duck mayonnaise, but you can make pancakes out of it. You can have duck egg pancakes with a wheat flour. Ooh, that's pretty interesting there. And then sugar, blueberries, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I, I did take care of all the crops, but I did not take care of a couple things, specifically all of the strawberries over here. All the strawberries are done. So definitely want to go get those as well as you guys actually commented saying my, uh, where are they at? Up here. The tea trees up here are actually ready too. So, you know, just shake those and then boom, we get some tea leaves out of that. Cool. So what do we actually do with those? Other than just, of course, making tea. Oh, I can actually pickle them. Ooh, okay, cool. Let, let's see if that's actually worth uh, doing. Let's see. Pickle tea leaves. There it is right there. 210, uh, I don't, I don't know if it's really worth that much. I'm like, that's, that's with the extra 40% that we get from the, uh, the artisan, like, skill or whatever, right? So, I don't, I don't know if it's really worth it there. But let, let's harvest all the strawberries right here, just because I kind of wanted to save this for on camera, because I'm like, it's at the end of the season. We weren't able to harvest very many strawberries, uh, throughout the entirety of the season. I definitely want to keep some strawberries, uh, and maybe just make some seeds out of them. That way, next year, we'll be able to plant down a bunch of them at the very start of spring and actually get a few more, uh, harvests out of them, right? Seems like more of the coffee over here is done, so I don't know if we're at the point where I want to start actually making. And then what's this? I don't know what the- Man, I just grabbed a tulip right there. Man, <laughs> But I don't know if we're at the oh is that more strawberry? It is. I don't know if I'm at the point where I want to start you know making coffee out of that or if I want to continue planting them down because I assume you could plant those down during the summertime too, right? So if I did this, uh, yeah, it grows in the spring and the summer. So you know what? It might actually be a good idea to continue, you know, if planting them over here during the summertime and then maybe in the fall we'll start making a bunch of coffee and and, and espresso and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because it takes five coffee beans to make one coffee. And I've got I've got thirty one right there and then. Silver Star and the Gold Star right there, and I do have the Pepper Popper right now, so we have extra farming right there too, so I don't know if that actually affected the, uh, the quality right there, but I also want to start, you know, preparing for summertime over here, so I don't know if I want to... So how, how long is it actually... I'm like, if it, if it grows in the spring and the summer, I guess it's not going to reset whenever we, uh... How, how long does it take to actually... I'm very curious now, just a lot of things... Okay, harvest after 10 days and then every two days. Okay, so every two days, that means... Okay, so that means we could actually harvest it one more time before spring ends, and then we could start uh, planting them over here on this left side. Because remember, whenever uh, summertime comes around... By the way, green beans over here as well. Uh, whenever summertime comes around, I do want to replace all this stuff with... I, I want to move all the, the, the barns and the coops and stuff like that to this right side, and then move all the plants and uh, all that kind of stuff to this left side. It's kind of what we got going on with these trees and all that kind of stuff already, right? Oh yeah, and then speaking of harvesting crops and stuff like that, you can see the cauliflowers right now are pretty close to being done. They're not done just yet, but they're probably going to be done within the next couple days. But you guys said to actually keep those as cauliflowers, like even though they're ready to be harvested, you guys said to keep them, and then there's still going to be a chance for them to turn into a giant cauliflower, because so far none of these have turned into a giant cauliflower so far, so that kind of sucks. And then I also got a comment from someone saying, yeah, it's, it's a little bit too late in the month right now, on the 25th, to actually plant down anything, because I think the fastest thing is... 
stuff like, what is it called? Uh, oh, no, do I have any? Yeah, I do have some geodes. I, I do want to go crack those open. I think I have them up in storage. I need to go grab them real quick. But yeah, I already took care of all the all the eggs and stuff like that over there. And I guess if anything, yeah, while, while we're here, well, speaking of taking care of the eggs, I did sell one that making the mayonnaise. Yeah, we have those, those geodes right there. And uh, I could smell some ores. I guess I'll do that. So we'll get those and then we'll put four of those up. Then we'll get three. And then we'll smelt those gold ore and we'll have those then. I don't know, we might go to mines again today because it is Thursday. We still have that prismatic slime mission. I do want to get that done to get the uh, the prismatic slime and uh, get the prismatic jelly for the wizard. Because we have to, it's like, what is it, a 1.2% chance of every slime becoming a uh, prismatic slime when it spawns in in the mines? I'm like, we only have a couple more days left to do that. And I really want to try and do that, you guys. And it is a pretty good excuse for us to continue down in the mines. Because we actually made it to level 115 last episode. If we continue down a little bit more, we'll hit 120, which is apparently the bottom of the mines. So definitely curious about that, you guys. But let's see. Uh, copper bar. Yeah, we have that. Uh, we need some wood. We need some stone. And then, uh, yeah, let's grab the wood. We have stone in the uh, slingshot. So there you go. Let's see if we can make, what is it? Four more uh, mayonnaise machines, I'd say. Oh, yeah. And then the earth crystals. I think that's over here or is it here? Yeah, yep, there it is right there. So earth crystals. I don't know how many we need. I think it's, I think four is the minimum. I don't know if I want to make more of those. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep four of them just because we have four chickens. We have two ducks. We have two void chickens. Then I guess other things we're going to get are like rabbits and stuff like that, right? And they're not going to lay any eggs. They're going to be uh, giving us wool, which is still super weird to me, but uh, I guess it works, right? So I guess I can't complain about that, but hey, at least we have the uh, the more of those mayonnaise machines right there, which is really good. So let's actually put those materials back up inside of here. There you go. And then uh, let's go outside and let's go smelt the, oh, whoops, let's go smelt the gold. And then it's 2.30 right now. I think we have until four to go over to Clint, right? And he'll open those up. Uh, yeah, we have until four, so that's good. We have a little bit of time, you know, open up those uh, geodes. So there you go. Place down the mayonnaise machines over here. And then, oh, oh wow, some of the mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, you know what? You guess some of you guys were not really too big of a fan of the, the whole idea of like putting all the stuff inside of the chests and selling it like once a week or whatever. I guess, I don't know. I, I just kind of want to try out that idea and see what it's like because it'd be better for like budgeting and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, tomorrow's Friday and you know, traveling trader and all that kind of stuff, right? And, and of course, yeah, Krobus and all that. And also want to upgrade the barn too. And we have 400 or so wood. I don't know. We probably have like 300 now, but. We're, we're pretty close to being able to upgrade them. I, I might just sell some of the items right now. Maybe, maybe go over to the pier and see if we'll buy a bunch of the stuff and get some money out of it, right? So, anyways, let's place down the, uh, where in the world? Oh, man, I hate whenever those icons keep covering that up. And by the way, I did also get a comment from someone saying I should, uh, oh, and I didn't even need these to, <laughs> to process the duck eggs and the void eggs and all the kind of stuff because those were already done. But whatever, at least we have them over here now. So we have these processing now. Okay, cool. Uh, but I, I did get a comment from someone saying I need to empty the silo. I did indeed do that off camera. Uh, I don't think I, I think I cut that out of the video. So you guys didn't see that, unfortunately. But I guess we'll grab all the stuff over here. We'll head on over to Pierre after we head over to Clint. So we could open up all the stuff, uh, open up the geos and hopefully get some stuff out of that. Now, remember, there is a strategy, actually. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually want to grab that. Oh, yeah, then yeah, these things over here still still got taps on. I need to make more taps. I forgot about that. Let's head over to the town. There you go. Uh, but yeah, if, if Clint opens up a geode, oh, I didn't check him on the luck. So, uh, see, didn't get any. Oh, wait, no, we got a socket newspaper right there. But if he opened up a uh, geode and we have multiple, well, we don't have any multiple geodes right now. I assume if we have like two Omni geodes, Clint opens up one of them and we get diamonds. We go home and open up that in our own geode cracker. And then we're supposed to get diamonds there. And it's like a cool little, little like Easter egg or, or glitch or something like that. I don't know if they ever patch it or anything like that, but that's a pretty cool thing you could do. But I don't have any uh, same geodes right now, unfortunately. Uh, so anyways, process geodes, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, and then speaking of money, yeah, we could also, next time it rains, we could actually try and upgrade our stuff like the watering can and pickaxe, all the kind of stuff too, uh, using some of the money, because it's like 10,000 and then like 5 gold on top of that, or like 10 gold or something like that, right? Like gold bars. So it's really, really expensive. But let's get Clint to open up our geodes over here. We got an earth crystal, that's going to be good. And let's open up the Omni. We got clay! Oh my gosh! Just absolutely terrible. <laughs> And then we get stone! Even worse, man! And I had to pay him 25 gold every time he did that right there, so that really stings. Ah, Alright, well, I, th I think Pierre is open until 5? I want to say 5. Yeah, he's open until 5, and he's closed on Wednesday, so it's Thursday right now, so he only just opened up from his break, so that's good. So let's actually go over here, sell some of the stuff, and then I don't know how much money we're going to get out of it, but, uh, oh, hey, look at that, there's Mayor Lewis right there. Uh, let's see, what's this? I'd like to put Topaz on my shelf sometime today. Well, he might be, it's Thursday right now. He might be in the saloon. I don't know if we have, to oh yeah, we have plenty of Topaz, yeah, yeah. So I guess we can go home, grab a Topaz, and then give it to Clint. He should be in, the, hopefully, in the saloon or something like that, right? Oh, but <laughs> I forgot every time I talk, I'm wearing these these shorts. I need to stop wearing these shorts. I can never talk to heck and Mary Lewis. But anyway, seeds for sale. Yeah, don't want to buy any of these seeds, unfortunately. But 
Uh, so we're gonna get 6,000 from the mayonnaise, gold star mayonnaise. 560 from that, 896. 3864. Oh, yeah, didn't I count this last episode? We have like 17,500 or something like that. Probably a little bit more because I did grab some uh, more mayonnaise earlier this episode off camera, right? So, or actually, I was on camera, wasn't it? And then a uh, pickle cauliflower, all that kind of stuff. I guess we'll sell them to, to Pierre just so we get it the same day. We'll have to wait until tomorrow, right? But uh, oh my gosh, look at how much it's shaking right there. 24,000? <laughs> now we're going to be spending 12,000 to upgrade the barn. Do I want to do that? Can I do that right now? We need 450 wood. You need to cut down a pretty good amount of trees. And then I think tomorrow is actually Pierre's birthday. I have that written down in my notes. So definitely want to give him something. I don't know, maybe give him a gold star parsnip like we did to, to so many other people earlier, right? I don't know. I really do appreciate your business, Mr. Waffle. I've been having a harder and harder time turning a decent profit. I wonder why, because you literally just paid me like 20 grand or something like that. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder you're broke, golly. But he's probably going to turn around and uh, get more money out of the stuff I just sold him anyways, right? Oh yeah, there's uh, Elliot right there. Let's actually casually talk to him. Definitely want to remember to just casually talk to people all around town and actually get some relationship points with them that way, right? So anyways, I can't seem to find the inspiration to begin writing my novel. Oh yeah, well, uh, how about my farm tales or something like that, right? Uh, anyways, Caroline. Oh, wait, what? Wait, was it? Huh? Oh yeah, I have the... I, I forgot, I've, I've had the necklace in my inventory for like, I don't know, like five episodes? I don't know, two, three, four, five episodes? And then we just randomly talked to Caroline right there, boom. Who lets this? My old necklace. Thank you guys all very much. <laughs> I didn't even, I, it took me a second to realize like what was happening right there. It was Caroline's necklace after all that. So, hey, so what, what, what happens now? That's strange. I didn't even notice it was missing. Well, thanks for bringing it back, Waffle. All right, well, I wonder who took, oh, hold on. Who else lives here? Abigail? I wonder if it was Abigail. So I wonder if I give it to Abigail. Yeah, Abigail. So I wonder what happened if I give it to Abigail instead of, or like just talk to Abigail instead of uh, Caroline. I wonder what happened. Anyways, it's a little bit too late for that, right? But uh, I assume, did I get any relationship points with her? Right? I wasn't paying attention to her earlier on this list over here. There she is right there. She has four hearts right now. That's actually pretty good. I don't have anything to just casually gift her right now except for uh, life elixir, but don't really want to do that, obviously, right? Anyways, Maru, I guess I'll casually talk to you too. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You know, I really want to get a telescope too, but those things can get really expensive for like really good ones, you guys. So I'm pretty hesitant about doing that myself in real life. So hopefully you have some fun with that, Maru. Hopefully it's one of those really cool ones you can attach a camera to. That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, I guess we'll just head home. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, let's get a pepper popper. Because uh, we're getting a little bit slow right now. Our pepper poppers ran out just a minute ago. And there's Haley right there. Guess we'll talk to her. And we're gaining some uh, energy back as well. <sighs> I could really go for a cupcake right now. Ooh. She's telling us something. I don't think we have any cupcakes just sitting around. We do have a soggy newspaper. I could give that to her. I don't know. Then that kind of looks like a cupcake to me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can give her an earth crystal or something like that. I don't know. Does she like that? I'm like, we've got tons of them. Does she like that? <gasps> for me? Thank you. <gasps> She actually liked it for once. Oh my gosh. Do you need something? Yeah, I need a friend. And not someone that's big meaning to me. <laughs> so anyways, I guess we'll just walk back. Let's go see if we have a topaz. I'm like, I have so many earth scrolls. It's not that big of a deal we gave it to Hale. I'm curious now, actually. Hold on. It's not like that was like a loved gift. It might've been just a liked gift, honestly. Uh, she was at like one or two hearts earlier, right? So, uh, hey, look at that. She's two hearts now. Hey, look at that. It was indeed a liked gift on the par of a life elixir. That was pretty good, you guys. Wow. Anyways, yeah, I definitely want to continue our uh, little, little thing being nice to Haley and all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, so anyways, let's go over here. Let's go grab a topaz, and I guess we'll head on over to, I don't know, to a saloon, I guess? I don't, I don't know if, I'm like, it's it's past Clint's, like, hours or whatever, so he should be heading towards the, uh, there it is right there, heading towards the uh, saloon, right? And this is, you have to do this, like, same day, so I can't, like, wait till tomorrow or anything like that, right? So let's, let's see. Let me double check on that. Oh, wait, no, two day. Wait, what? It says right there sometime today, but it gives me two days to do I'm like, I'm not complaining about that, but it's kind of a weird inconsistency, but I'll still do it today anyway. So let's head on over to the, uh, to the saloon. He should be over there by now. If, if he, I'm like, we see him there like pretty much every day. Right. But if not, we could definitely go tomorrow. Cause it seems like everyone just kind of congregates in the uh, saloon on Fridays anyways. Right. So let's go over here. Oh, Hey, Lee, that's petty. Let's go talk to her. And Lee, I'll leave that. A bunch of people are heading over here. No one inside there right now, but, uh, talk to Shane. You like talking to me? I guess I believe you. Maybe you're as weird as I am. Oh yeah, I forgot to buy a... Uh, <laughs> talking to Shane reminded me to buy... I forgot to buy the, sh the bouquet and then go smelt it and then give it to him. 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow or some of that. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about me actually doing that for Shane? Is that a little bit too mean? Is that a little bit too soon? <laughs> Literally like one episode uh, of it being like official or whatever, and then we just break up with him after the flower did. <laughs> should I do that or should I maybe wait a little while? I don't know. The air is starting to warm up, and I'm feeling pumped. Oh yeah, you know, that's actually kind of the opposite in real life. It's literally snowing as I'm speaking right now. I know it's Pierre, or uh, <laughs> cut that out of the video. Anyways, Penny, what do you have to say over here? I wish I could keep a garden, but our yard is such a mess. Well, hey, maybe soon you'll be able to move in with me because I've got so much ro I'm literally a farmer, so a garden is like basically nothing to me. I've got a whole heckin' giant farm, so. Yeah, maybe maybe here in the future she'll be able to move in with us, right? Maybe I'll live in a place where I can have a garden someday. Oh, she's kind of alluding it to her right there. Maybe I'll live on a farm. A tee -hee. I'm pretty sure she said that to us before she was our girlfriend, right? Pretty sure. Not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember. But, uh, that also reminds me, um, hold on, before I forget, uh, is Clint on his way over? You guys, you guys said to, uh, continue, like, going into people's houses randomly? Uh, even though it sounds super duper sus when I say that out loud, but <laughs> you guys you said to go uh, into people's houses randomly just to see if there are any like like cutscenes or anything like that to happen. So I guess we'll continue to do that. Let's go over here. We have Haley's house and like whatever her name is, uh, his house over here as well. And I guess we'll go over to, to Kent's house. Oh, yeah, okay. Nothing's happening here. Haley's just staring at the countertop. <laughs> Let's go through her trash. Hey, look at that. We got a broken CD. Okay. And we got seat. What? Huh? Just throwing away seaweed? That's so weird. Anyways, Kent, what do you have to say? Are you friends with my son? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think like, I'm able to go into Well, which one? Because Vincent and uh, Sam are here, right? Yeah, not good enough friends with Sam. Oh, I'm good enough friends with Vincent? I didn't know that. Hey, look at him. There he is right there. You're not as boring as most grown-ups. Hey, look at that. I guess he is our friend, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then we have Jody over here washing dishes. So you're a farmer, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, yeah. What gave it away there, Jody? Maybe someday you can teach me how to grow vegetables. Uh, I'm pretty sure she said that. Well, get out of the way there, Ken. Oh, yeah, you can talk to him again. Hold on. You probably know him better than I do. No, not really. Unless you are indeed talking about Vincent, but uh, I guess he's just playing around right now. I don't know where Sam is right now. Probably playing. Oh, wait, there he is right there. I was about to say probably on his skateboard or something like that. Well, my dad is back. Have you met him? Yeah, he seems like a pretty cool guy. I'm just glad he's okay. Yeah, me too. That's, that's really cool. So, anyways, uh, 7.20 p.m. right now. I guess we'll head on over to... Here, see if I don't know if Clint is he on his way. Is he actually in there now? I don't know. He might not go to the uh, oh, yeah. I, I literally, I keep getting comments about it. I literally, oh, there he is, right? Yeah, he is on his way. Literally, have a mod installed that shows me where people are on the map. So, yep, there he is, right there. So, yeah, that mod definitely came in handy right there. Let's actually give him the thing. Oh, is that the topaz I requested? I really appreciate it. And hey, no problem, Clint. Here's your payment as promised. Yeah, I don't even know how much he was offering. Uh, 240, eh, I guess I can't complain too much, right? So, there you go. I guess I'll go over to Clint's, uh, blacksmith area and, uh, go over to the mines today. Just because I do want to make a little bit more progress. It's almost 8 p.m. I don't know if we'll be able to actually go into... Oh, yeah, then I think I actually left some stuff in the mines, didn't I? Like, in that chest? Hold on. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I've got, yeah, I need to go give that to the community center and, uh... Don't know if there's anything else, really, but... Yeah, I need to put more stuff up inside there just to get a little bit more room, right? So, there you go. Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll put the bait right there where that necklace was previously, so there you go, cool. Oh yeah, that slot was actually for uh, emergency staircases. Ah, oh, man, I, I, I used literally all of them, so... Yeah, if, if we can't make it down to level 120 before the end of the day, then yeah, we... I guess, I don't think we have enough stone, actually, to... to yeah, we only have 31 right there. Ooh, that's like nothing. Ooh, that's really bad. But anyways, I guess we'll keep going around here and see if we can actually find those prismatic slimes and, you know, just generally continue to try and make our way down and hopefully not get too many uh, debuffs from this guy. You got a Void Essence right there, not bad. And of course, it seems like in, in these, like, 110 to 120 layers here, there's a lot more stones and it's a lot harder to find the way to... Oh, wow, this is actually a small area right here, so... It seems like I might need to break, like, maybe every single stone or something like that. I don't know. Leave no stone unturned over here, you guys. Or unbroken, I guess, with the pickaxe, right? So, man, at least some of them are really close. You don't really have to move too close between, or too much between them, so. <sighs> Doesn't seem like we're coming across them just yet. Yeah, it does seem like I have to break literally every single one of them here, you guys. It's really, really unfortunate. Man, because I'm kind of in a hurry. We, we It's only 8 p.m. right now. We're not really making any progress here. Let's go right here, and then we don't have to move. So there you go. And then, yeah, our pickaxe is in a gold one. I'm pretty sure it feels gold. Oh, wow, we found it. Nice. I'm uh, pretty sure if it was gold, we'd be able to uh, break these in just one shot instead of... Oh, and then we have bats. Hey, look at that mushrooms right there. Good. Hopefully we can come across more... Uh, what is it? Purple ones. Because we need more purple ones to make more... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, life elixirs, right? So, yeah. Because we only have one in our inventory right now. And I don't know. We might need to use that sometime if I 
end up getting too much damage, but it seems like we're doing pretty fine right now. And then there's copper over there. Don't really need that. Go and kill this little Krobus look-alike. There you go. Kill this guy. Yo, get him. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm dying. There you go. Door scroll. Hold on. Wait. Whoa, which one? Oh wait, no, yeah, the one we need, we need to we need to get from digging in the ground, right? So that's obviously not it. Hold on. Which one am I look where am I going? There you go. <laughs> uh yeah, and then there's two secret letters that uh, we're missing right now. Uh where in the world is it? Yeah, we already have dwarf dwarf a scroll a three, and we already have three of them, it says right there. Total found three three dwarf scroll ones right there too yeah i guess while i'm here i might as well get some more gold just uh, to make this trip worth it even if we do not indeed uh make it down to 120 or you know find the prismatic slime or anything like that right so actually oh yeah there's a chest right there actually Ooh, let's see if there's anything good in there we're actually getting a ton of gold you guys wow look at that hold on well, uh, let's try and break some more of these regular stones here like i said try and find our way down and hopefully we find our way down pretty quickly because we're starting to run out of time here you guys golly Oh, there you go. There it is right there. Nice. I didn't see it. I was in the way. And let's continue down. See if there's any. Okay, there's another slime right there. Just a regular slime. Yeah. Oh, wow. Found the way down immediately. Okay, cool. I don't know if there's any slimes down here, but I'll check. Just go over here. Just temper. Oh, wow. He didn't kill him. Oh, there must have been a second one there. There you go. Got him. I do not know if there are any more around here. I'm just going to guess no. Yeah, I don't think there's any up there. Okay, let's just continue going down. It's 1130. We're almost at 118. We're really close. Really close here, you guys. Uh, another rail railway right here and awesome a pretty good amount of coal really good uh source of coal right there let's continue going around see if there are any slimes see if there's anything around here i don't think so golly guess i'll just start wow the luck the luck it's getting late okay well we came across more uh was that aquamarine almost said that but uh kind of had to hesitate right there omni geode right there really really good you guys it's 12 10 are we going to make it down to one we did it we did it 119 or uh, hold on while we're here any slimes anything around here uh just a bat uh, I don't know. And then there's more topaz, I think, right here, right? Or uh, was it? Yeah, more topaz. And yeah, no, nothing. Uh, oh, it, it might be continuing down right there, but I'm, I'm going to continue over here. It's, it's 1230. Let's make it down to 120 already. Boom! Journal of... Whoa, what happened? Oh, yeah, we finished that mission. There's a mission over here. Where is it? Wait, what happened? Where is it on this? It's gone. It's just gone. So is there nothing? Uh... Oh, new journal entry now. You found the skull key. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Ooh. And then there's like little, little snakes going around these pillars over here. Ooh, kind of spooky. So was there a, uh, well, I guess the way out here is a ladder right there, right? But so what, what was that? What was that key? Do you, rusty key? Ooh. Oh, wait, yeah, we had that. That's the sewer one. Here's the, uh, the skull. That's the one we just picked up. And then we had the magnifying glass. The bear's knowledge was so weird. <laughs> so weird and random and all the kind of stuff, right? I guess we'll just leave the mine. It's 1240 right now. Let's grab the stuff out of this chest that I forgot last time. I'm sure there's a uh, button. There might be a mod that actually does it. That uh, grabs all the stuff here at the same time. Kind of like Terraria, you know? But is there anything here? I, I'm like, this is all just literal trash. So I don't even need any of that, honestly. So I guess we'll just go home. Let's go back to the bus stop. And I guess we'll, uh, you know, none of these taps over here are ready to go. Yeah, none of them are ready to go, unfortunately. You yeah, haven't really been paying attention to too many worms. I might be stepping over so many worms, you guys. It'd be insane. But, uh, yeah, no room right there. I guess we'll get rid of the soggy newspaper. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. So there you go. <laughs> Let's go back inside. It's 1 a.m. Let's actually start emptying our inventory of all the stuff that we have here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a, we have a fish. I guess we'll put up. I, I'll put up the fish that are not the eels. So the anchovy, boom, boom, and then the herring. There you go. Cool. We have a really good abundance of fish over here, you guys. That's really, really good, you guys. Uh, now, we're our, now, while we're outside, I also smelt the gold and the... A uh, little bit of copper right there. Because remember, uh, like five or like six hours. No, no, no. Four hours of time passes between 2 a.m. and like 6 a.m. You know, whenever you're sleeping. So actually helps out a ton. Oh, wait, one more gold. Actually helps out a ton whenever it comes to uh, smelting the gold, right? So let's get another gold going right there. Cool. And uh, I guess we'll put up some of the other stuff over here. Maybe sell that. Uh, how much do I get from that dwarf scroll? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll just start putting up. Oh, wow, a lot of stuff just went up right there. That was amazing. <laughs> let's put up some more stuff right here. Uh, ba -boom. And I guess we'll put the dwarf scroll. I should probably sell that, honestly. But, uh, then we have some more stone right there, which is really good. So we actually have uh, almost enough to get another one of the... Yeah, 78. Another one of those staircases here pretty soon. Literal trash, so I'm not going to do anything with that other than just put it into the trash. <laughs> then uh, we have sap and some other stuff over here. And then I guess that's it. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll just go to bed, right? At a decent time. Not an amazing time or anything like that. Check the weather was going to be tomorrow, though. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Cool. And uh, live off the land. Missed this. Whoops. Yeah, I'm checking the TV literally at nighttime. I don't think I've ever done this before. <laughs> Welcome to Living Off the Land. I'd like to talk about the famous Adventurers Guild near Pelican Town. The guild leader, Marlin, has a nice rewards program for anyone brave enough to slay the monsters in the local caves. 
adventurers will receive powerful items in exchange for slaying large quantities of monsters. There's a poster on the wall with more details. Very cool. Yeah, we haven't been there in a little while. We should definitely go check up on that, you guys. So anyways, uh, let's go to bed. And I guess in the morning, let's check the calendar because I haven't written my notes that tomorrow is Pierre's birthday, but I want to double check. Oh, yeah, nothing happened overnight. Yeah, I didn't sell anything. Didn't get any level ups or anything like that. That was kind of weird because usually I sell stuff overnight, but we sold everything to Pierre. And yep, it is indeed Pierre's birthday. Awesome. I guess we'll give him a... Uh, what are we going to give him? Oh, yeah, and then the traveling person is over there, too. Yeah, and then, and yeah, look at this. This map actually shows that it's Pierre's birthday. There's a little gift icon next to his head right there, so that's good. kind of reminds me there, but we have 25 grand right now. Uh, we need how much stone? 200 stone. We might be able to get 200 stone if I just kind of try, you know? And then 450 wood. I don't know how much we have to upgrade the barn and all that kind of stuff, you know? Then we can start getting goats and all that kind of stuff. We have 340. That's definitely doable. That's definitely doable. To get 110 more wood, you know, just cut down a few more trees around here. And then, of course, getting rid of some of the stone around here as well. I might I, actually, you know what? That's that's a pretty good excuse to go over to the quarry and start breaking some of the stone over there, too, right? I don't know if there are any. Uh, yeah, I don't think any boulders are over there that would get like 10 stone from um, individually, unfortunately. So uh, that kind of sucks. But 340 wood, I guess we'll keep that in our inventory just to kind of help keep track of how much we have. And then uh, we have a gold star forging over here. So I guess we'll put this. Oh, wait, we have a. Uh, yeah, we have a purple mushroom right there. I guess we can make a uh, life elixir out of that. Unless there's something else we can make out of that, right? Uh, no, yeah, literally just a life elixir. That's like the only thing you can do with a uh, purple mushroom, so that kind of sucks, but let's put that up as well. Then we have a couple geodes we could open up. No matching geodes. I, I should probably keep the geodes. Yeah, see, look at that. Those are all done right there, which is really cool. And yeah, it looks like the cauliflower... Is that done? Yep, the cauliflower is done. There's a plus icon there, but I'm going to leave these until, like, say the 28th or whatever. Uh, and then we'll harvest them on the 28th, because apparently uh, there's still a likelihood that they can actually turn into a large cauliflower, a huge cauliflower, whatever it's called. So anyways, we actually did a mission for Clint yesterday. It looks like he's given us a gift for being such a good friend. Um, uh, hello. Uh, sorry, I'm not good at writing letters, but I made one metal bar too many, and I thought you might need it. Clint the blacksmith. Hey, look at that. He gave us an iron bar. Not bad. Would have been really nice if it was iridium, but not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, right? So <laughs> anyways, let's grab uh, some of the other mushrooms around here. What are they called? Uh, Chanterelle. And yeah, moral. And, and we should be able to make another life elixir, right? So, uh... Yep, 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 we have them all. Okay, cool. Let's make another life elixir. And we could use that, you know, in emergency situations, say if I'm like almost dead or whatever, as well as an emergency gift to give to people, right? So that's pretty cool. And let's remember to go give this eel to the community center. Do not want to forget about that, right? So, uh, and then, yeah, because it is Friday. We need to go to the traveling trader person. We have a pretty good amount of money. I know it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the morning time right now. Let me, let me get all the busy work done. Let me make sure I don't accidentally harvest any of the cauliflower over here. Let me water all the crops. Okay, good. It didn't harvest, or it, yeah, it didn't harvest them right there. Good. I think you have to write them. No! Man! <laughs> Never mind! I think it might actually be impossible to... Is it impossible to water these? I don't know how, how you water without harvesting. Because I kind of messed it up right there, unfortunately. Well, these aren't ready to be harvested. Ah, man. But if I'm looking this way... Yes, you harvested again! Man! Oh, that really sucks. That really stings. Golly. I, I guess the only way to do it is, is yeah, yeah. Not stay. Oh, wait, well, I'd have to stand on one. No matter what. Yeah, see, I'm standing on one right now. Yeah, I don't know how to do this strategically, you guys. Golly. All right, well, I'll try, I'll try my best to water all these around here. Because some of these aren't fully grown. You can see, like, here, these are not fully grown. So I guess I guess I could stand on top of these and then just continue to water. But I already harvested a couple of them, which means that basically just eliminated, like, two potential... Uh, like three by three squares of uh, cauliflowers right there, unfortunately. So that really sucks. It really stings. But yeah, that, whoops. Let me continue watering around here. Water all the crops. Harvest all the crops. Get that cherry over there. Maybe see if any of the tea trees are uh, ready to be harvested as well. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. And we'll go buy some stuff for the traveling trader. And yeah, you know what? Also off camera, I'll probably uh, see if I can cut down some more trees. Get some more wood. All that kind of jazz. And uh, hopefully get that much closer to being able to get the barn. And, you know, hopefully get that started today, right? All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm, I'm taking care of some of the uh, some of the eggs, the chickens, all that kind of stuff over here. It seems like some of the eggs are blocking the way. There you go, large egg. Cool. Uh, but I did see some of the mahogany trees outside are actually good to go. You guys are ready to be uh, cut down, which is really, really cool. I did not think they were going to grow that fast, but holy heck, they're actually done already. Uh, let's actually get some of these extra eggs over here, so void egg, all that kind of stuff. So now we actually have duck mayonnaise, which is really cool. Uh, we have void mayonnaise as well. And uh, let's put these eggs over here. Yeah, so look at that. We have eight mayonnaise makers now, you guys. We're going to be making so much money. It's insane. Do we have any other uh, eggs? I do not think so. I don't know. Is there an egg around here I didn't see? Uh, am I right there? No. Man, I, I'm missing an egg. It's or it's around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. 
Golly. Is it in my inventory? It's not in my inventory. Yeah, it's not in my inventory. I don't know what happened to that egg. It's gone. Man. Nah, well, that stings. We're missing on one of them over here. And I'm pretty sure we... Hold on, hold on. Was it a duck feather? Hold on. Was there a duck feather I picked up right there instead of a, uh, an egg? Because it could, it could drop an egg or a feather. Yeah, we didn't pick up a duck feather right there, so I don't know where it went. Man. All right, well, whatever. We had some pretty good uh, luck there anyway, so not that big of a deal. Anyways, uh, I do have a couple milk I need to take care of. But yeah, look at this. Some of the mahogany trees are actually done right now, you guys. Really, really cool. So let's actually cut them down. And what do we get? Eight? I think we get eight uh, hardwood out of them, right? So this is getting a pretty good amount of them. There you go. Cool. Might wanna, do I have a... Yep, mahogany seeds. Let's replant those back down, you guys. Actually, uh, I don't know, because I want to have all this farm. Right? I might... I might just replant it. Yeah, you know what? I'm, forget about replanting them here. I'm going to replant them downwards like this around the uh, around the pathway. So right here, yeah, forget those. But uh, over here, yeah, I'll continue planting them down over here. So uh, let's see. Where's the... Uh, there's right there. So one, two. Then, uh, yeah, I think right here is good. But yeah, you guys said I don't, I don't need to have a three by three or whatever around these trees. Uh, but I'll still have them anyways. And I, I did also get a com another comment from you guys saying I should uh, put paths and stuff like that around the trees on the bottom right corner there. And I think I put some paths over there. I feel like that was on camera. It might have been off camera. I don't know. Oh, I never put any paths over here. Oh, yeah. I, I think I might have just like said that out loud or something like that, actually. Now I think about it. I thought I should put some paths there. But yeah, I definitely want to do that. And then uh, let's cut down some more trees over here. There's just regular trees as well. Mahogany trees, etc. Because I do need mahogany wood as well as regular wood, right? I'm pretty sure it's a regular tree, right? Yeah, so it's a regular one right there. So at least it's going to help us out a little bit of wood that way, right? But cut down these mahogany ones right here and try and replant them if we get any mahogany seeds. Hopefully we can. Uh, we got hardwood right there. We got 12 of them. That's really good. I thought we only ate. That's actually really good. So, kind of want to actually go check up on our hardwood count now, you guys. Hopefully it's a pretty good amount. Yeah, there you go. A couple more hardwood, or a couple more mahogany seeds. Really good. Let's replant that down right there, and right there. Awesome. I guess we'll just continue going around over here, maybe. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? Before I forget, and we're kind of in the area right now anyways, let's go down to the traveling merchant down here. Oh, wait. Whoa, what happened? We have a uh, penny event. Penny heart event. Oh, Waffle, it's perfect timing that you showed up. Hey, look at that, they're having a picnic. <laughs> the kids are the jazz and Vincent are jumping down there, jumping the rope. Penny's having a picnic, taking care of the kids. This is so cute. I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. You know all about life in the country, right? Well, I'm like, yeah, I have to explore all around it, right? So I was thinking, uh, could you be my guest speaker today? Yeah, I'd love to do that. No, I, no, I can't stand kids. I'm like, I'm a pretty good friend with uh, Vincent, right? So that'd be kind of weird if I said that. Sure, I'd love to. Let's do this. I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. Oh, she's like, yeah, look at that. There you can see her like teeth right there and her like back of her mouth as she's yelling at him. <laughs> Jazz! Vincent! May I have your attention, please? <laughs> and then they jump as they're all shocked. Because Penny's mouth just exploded. It's like ten times as big as it's supposed to be. <laughs> I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, Waffle. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. Isn't that right, Waffle? Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Oh, and they're both raising their hands. Jazz. A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in the natural state and has economic value. What? How old are you, Jazz, and you just said that? Golly, she's really smart. Very good. That's worth two star points, Jazz. Is she smarter or is Penny just a really good teacher? Yes! <laughs> what about Vincent? Are you going to test Vincent's knowledge next? Okay, now let's give Waffle our full attention. Uh oh, what am I going to say? I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. Country life is all about farming. Country life is all about gathering from the wild. It's a little bit of both, honestly, but which one should I do? I don't know. Let's do farming. It's all about farming. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, farming, but also ranching. So at the same time, how often do I gather from the wild? At least these days, right? Let's do farming. Farming's a bigger deal in my day than, than get stuff from the wild. I'd say L let's do this. It's all about farming. The valley's soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. The valley's air and grass are perfect for raising animals. Yeah, see, look at that. Now I could actually talk about ranching. Cool. You know what? You know what? Let's bring up the animals. No one's talked about animals yet. Maybe let's do this animals thing right here. Let's do this. The valley's air and grass are perfect for raising animals. Let's do this. And then Vincent has a question. Yes, Vincent. Farmer Waffle, can I put a saddle on one of your cows and ride into town? <laughs> I want to be a real cowboy. Vincent, behave yourself. 
<laughs> Mr. Waffle makes his living working on the farm. It's not a playground. <laughs> well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Alright, well now they're going to run off camera or go jump off the bridge and into the water. It's like two feet below them. Don't don't take down my channel for saying that, you two. <laughs> it's a lot of work to take care of these kids. But I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Well, that's really nice. Would you ever want to be a parent, Waffle? Ooh, oh, geez, there's a lot of suggestions right here. Or uh, answers or whatever. I haven't really thought about it. Absolutely, I want a big family. I guess so. It's a natural urge. No, I don't think I'd be good at it. No, the world's crowded enough already. Golly, that's savage. No, I don't want to be tied down with a family. I'm like, I can understand that. Maybe, maybe right now it's not the time, but maybe a little bit later with that answer. I feel like with Penny, you don't really want to say no to her, obviously, right? We're like romancing Penny and all that kind of stuff, so obviously this would be like the best answer right here. I want to have a big family, so maybe for sake of giving her the best answer, let's do this one. Absolutely, I want to have a big family. Me too. I'm glad you feel that way. Oh, that's so sweet. And hey, maybe we'll have a big family someday, Penny, when I marry you. Because after this, hey, we're probably going to have, what is that, 10 hearts or whatever? Because we're at nine right now, aren't we? Well, I'm glad you showed up, Waffle. I think the kids had a great time. I think so, too. And they learned a lot, too. And they're already super smart already because you're such a good teacher, Penny. Anyways, let's go over to the, uh, oh, look at that squirrel! <laughs> let's go over to the traveling, uh, merchant, traveling cart, whatever, with that weird pig in the front. <laughs> let's see if they're selling anything, uh, of worth over here. Survival Burger. 720. Golly, that's a lot. I'm like, that's 125 energy and 50 just, uh, That's a decent amount, but at the same time, it's a lot of money still. Just random, just straight up, just jelly there. Stone a stone! For a thousand. Like, golly, can you not be so obvious with your, like, actual scams that you're going over here? Like, come on. <laughs> then we have Oak Resin for 900, battery pack for 2,000. Uh, I'm like, I can see why you might want to get a battery pack for 2,000, but I have, like, five of them in storage because we have, like, four of those uh, lightning rods, right? Acorn, don't need that. Wild Horse Rash. Futon, or Futon Bear, what? So is that, like, that Charmin Bear that we have, that big blue bear? And it turns into, like, a futon. It turns into, like, a bed couch thing. And then five rare seeds. So in the fall. Oh my gosh, should I do that? I've got I've got the money. I feel like if I don't buy that, I'm going to get like so many comments saying I should do that. Cause she usually only sells like one, right? Not like five? Unless I'm misremembering here. Is this like a rare instance where she only sells five? Or where she does sell five and other times she only sells one? And I'm like, I've got twenty-five thousand, but we only need twelve thousand to upgrade the thing. We're probably not gonna to upgrade today anyways, the barn. So I, I I think I'm going to buy them and I think I'm going to buy all of them and we're just going to gather like more and more and more rare seeds until fall and then we'll actually be able to sow them, right? Yeah, Let, let's do it. Let's buy the rare. So let's buy all five of them. Mmm, that kind of stung right there. But hey, and then the futon bear. Do I want to get that? Maybe get another Charmin bear at the, at the table or something like that. I don't know. That'd be, a, that'd be a funny little decoration, I suppose. Well, I guess we'll get the futon bear. I don't know when, when else we can get that, but 2200 that's a lot of money there, but. We'd be down to 1800 We have mayonnaise. We have gold star cheese and stuff in my inventory. It's not really that bad. Oh, I forgot to empty my inventory. And, yeah, I have milk right there. I need to put inside the cheese maker, too. <laughs> Futon bear. I guess we'll buy that. Probably getting comments about the literal junk that I'm buying right now, but then unmilled rice and survival. I don't know. You guys are probably wanting me to buy this one stone for a thousand, too. I don't know. <laughs> not going to do that, obviously, right? But anyways, uh, I guess while we're in the area, I, I guess, I don't know. You know what? Yeah, let's cut down these trees right here, too. Just because I do need to get some wood as well as I guess we'll go cut down those uh, stumps over to the left side as well. Uh, but hey, we actually got some really good stuff from the uh, merchant that time. So I guess I can't complain too much, right? Uh, but yeah, let's cut down these trees over here just to try and get some more wood. Because we need about 110 more wood. And I don't know how much we have right now, how much uh, we're missing uh, from the 450 we need to upgrade the barn. But I do want to continue getting more prog with the progress with that over time, right? I don't want to let too much time pass. Let's see. Where are we going here? Where's the wood at on this? Am I blind? Uh, oh, there, yeah, we have four. Oh, wow, we almost have enough. We have four, four, four. Awesome. Okay, well, let's get down just one more tree, and then we're good to go. And then, I guess we'll get another 12 uh, hardwood over here. And I think we have 30-something in my inventory right now, so we're going to get pretty close to 50 hardwood just today. So we're actually making a lot of progress with the hardwood. You got. Wow. Oh, yeah, and then just, yeah. Every time, yeah, remember, 1.2% chance of a slime every time uh, be being the uh, prismatic one? Yeah, it definitely makes sense to come over here to the, uh, to the thing every single day to try and... Uh, Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's not a prismatic slime, but we have a mahogany seed right there. I do need that. 
Hold on. What, what can I get rid of? I, I, I don't need pine cones on. Well, let's put those up. There we go. We, we don't need the pine cone. We have plenty of seeds and all that kind of stuff at home. Not that big of a deal. And then we have, yeah, we have slime. Not that big of a deal if I don't get those either. Just slime stuff like that. We have more all over here. Honestly, I'd like to get those, but if we don't have the room for it, then uh, not much I can do about that, right? But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else in my inventory. Except for maybe the bait, but we have like 61 or so of those right there. So, I'd hate to throw up that much bait, obviously. And then, yeah, all these other things I should have put up, obviously. And we have a sap. We have like hundreds of that. I don't know. We could get rid of that and maybe get the morals. But is it worth it? I don't know. Let's just continue going down here and cut down a few more stumps and we'll have um, almost 50 hardwood, which would be really, really cool, you guys. So just cut down these last two over here and I guess we're good to go, right? And uh, I guess we'll go over, I don't know, maybe probably, I need to look at the footage because I've recorded like three or so clips for this episode so far. I need to see how long this video is and then we'll probably end off the episode like at like 6 p.m. or something like that here pretty soon. So I know let's just go out here and uh, yeah, we're getting low on energy as well. So don't want to forget about that. And, uh, we need to get some more stone, but it'd make more sense to break stuff maybe in the quarry. Just kind of two birds with one stone, right? Uh, to make more room for more stones to appear over there, as well as to gather stones for the barn upgrade, right? So, anyways, is there anything I want to do while I'm kind of out and about a little bit, or do I want to head north and try and... Uh, I'm like, it's a little bit too late to sell stuff to Pierre, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks in that regard. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to the farm. Drop off the rare seeds, try to put, put all the stuff in its place, you know? Then I guess maybe later in the day, or maybe, you know, next episode or whatever. Well, and then, yeah, I need to put taps on all these. I forgot about that. And then, yeah, I'm making all those pathways. Uh, yeah, we have a mahogany seed. Two of them, actually. So let's put one there. We'll put another one, too, right here. Cool. Uh, that way they'll grow. Oh, yeah. I uh, need to do... So how do you get tree fertilizer again? I need to put tree fertilizer on those again. Uh, just so those have a higher likelihood of growing and all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, there it is right there. Tree fertilizer. A little bit of fiber and five stone. Ah, oh, man. I don't know if I want to... Spend. We don't have that much fiber anyways. I know I got a comment from someone saying, yeah, you're actually getting kind of low on fiber, so... Man. And we're at 46 hardwood. That's really... We actually have enough hardwood to get the stable now, you guys. We just need to get all the, the wood and the stone and all the kind of stuff for it, too, so... Man. I don't know, but yeah. Let, 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 me, let me put all the stuff up in its in its rightful place and all that kind of jazz, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit, and we'll probably uh, end up doing the outro or something like that as well, right? But uh, then, yeah, over here are the rare seeds. So we have seven rare seeds, which is really, really good. And we have the radium sprinkler. Do not want to forget about that, because... Of course, we can get a lot of money out of that. And I guess we'll just put all the stuff up, like the duck mayonnaise, void mayonnaise. Yeah, how much How much do we get from the void mayonnaise again? I guess we'll have to take it out and then do F1 here. 385, that's actually really good. 700-something from uh, both of those. That's really, really good. And the gold star cheese, of course. Sell that, too. Then uh, we need to get two more cheeses out of those two milks right there. I need to do that as well. So let me take care of that before I do the outro. And then, yeah, we have this other uh, bear over here, futon bear. I guess we'll place that down somewhere, right? So, uh, I don't know, maybe like... Oh, that's a small one! Oh, where can I put that? Can I put him on? I can't put him on the chair. I guess we'll put him right there. Look at that little guy. <laughs> He's so cute. We have a random, uh, just regular cheese right there. Yeah, I got a comment from someone saying I need to put, uh, regular, just regular non-star vegetables in the fridge. Definitely makes sense. Just because I'm like, what else am I going to use them for? And then, yeah, that looks like some wine up there is ready to go as well. And some of the cheese over here is already cool. All right, there you go. Okay, I got the cheese. Uh, I don't know if I went to the, to the, uh, what do you call this? Mushroom cave today, did I? I did not actually. Ooh, okay. Well, let's grab these. We got some red. We got some comments right there. Awesome. So, anyways, it's 7 p.m. This might actually be a good spot to leave off the episode and start looking forward to next episode and, you know, go over to the saloon and start talking to everyone, gifting everyone things because we should have some more parsnips, right? Gold star parsnips this is the wrong chest to look for that, though, unfortunately. But uh, put up some of the stuff I want to sell, like this and that. And then uh, we'll put up the mushrooms up inside of this. And I guess I'll just start to. Oh, then, yeah, I need to do the community center. You need to do that next episode. Don't want to forget about that. And let's grab some of the tree fertilizers. I mean, make a few of those. I don't know how many uh, I planted today, but definitely want to try and get a, get those uh, all fertilized. I think we need to water them, though. So, anyways, like I was saying, uh, did I have a fertilizer? I guess I never did. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys all very much for watching. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Because I'll save right here. There you go, day 26 of spring year. Oh, yeah, and then it sells all the stuff. Yeah, I forgot about that, too. Well, at least we get a little bit of money back. 4500 Can't complain about that, right? But let's just save it right there, and then we'll start next episode at, like, 8 p.m. or something like that, right? Uh, yeah, 7.40 p.m. Not that bad of a time. So, anyways, already did the full outro right there. So, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Oh.